Well, hello everybody. My name is Johnny Highland from Nashville, Tennessee. And today I'm bringing you a video on a product that has been released that is a true blessing to all guitar players out there. It's actually made by Amp RX and it's called the Brown Box. Folks, what makes this a blessing and a true blessing to all guitar players, as I just mentioned, is the fact that this actually helps regulate the voltage that goes from your amplifiers or from the wall, uh, you know, and actually helps regulate the voltage that your amp is actually using. Uh, that is very, very important because I don't know how many times I've been on a stage, whether I'm at a festival outdoors or I'm in a club somewhere, and my amp feels very sterile or it just doesn't feel good, and then when the gig is over, the amp is so hot on the top that you can barely even touch it. That's because nobody's really aware when you plug a guitar amp into a wall wart exactly how much voltage your amp is actually going to have to to push. And it couldn't actually... Uh, well, to be honest, it might not be regulated for your amp, and it might be pushing the amp really hard. Uh, so what does the brown box do? Well, right here I've actually plugged my amplifier into the brown box, and then of course the brown box plugs in itself. And essentially what you have here is this little knob shows you the actual voltage that is coming out of the wall, or what, you know, what, your, uh, what voltage you're actually getting before you even plug your amp in. Then you plug your amp into the brown box and essentially the top number shows you the current that it's drawing and the bottom number shows you how many actual amps you're, you're using. And of course uh, in my own studio I found out today that I was actually running more than 120 which actually this amp is rated at. Now this is what I'm using here is a 1974 Music Man RD100 or 112 excuse me. And uh, it's a 65 watt amp, and it's uh, one year older than I am. My goodness, that's amazing. But to be honest with you, I didn't realize that the current in my studio was actually higher than what the amplifier was su supposed to run at. So right now, what my brother TJ Armstrong, my bass player, and I are doing is actually testing the brown box. Um, and of course, TJ, what is that top number we're reading now? The top number here or here? Um, no, here. Oh, well, you got 121 volts uh, okay. after being um, reduced. So when, when it came out of the wall, we were hitting 123. Yes. Uh, what we wanted to do was take the primary voltage select and go just a little higher than that. So we have a 124, 124 volt uh, selection right here. Right. So we chose that. Um, and what am I reducing? What am I we, We're actually bypassing because uh, once we set it to 124, it brought the, uh, the voltage down. It matched the voltage down once you start playing. Right. So now what we can do is we can actually go back and reduce it all the way back to 10 and see how that feels with a little bit of the sag or not. Well, actually, what I want the folks out there to see as well, now I'm a legally blind guitarist, and I always rely on Brother TJ when we're on the road or if we're in a studio and we're, we're doing the session together. Essentially what this knob does, folks, is you can go anywhere between 122 and 126 um, in voltage range, and, and that is, of course, what's coming out of the wall. And of course, when TJ said we were reading at 123, he brought it up to 124, just so we could actually go a little beyond the voltage. And then we started reducing. Now this knob here, this big knob, actually is a reduction knob, and it actually drops the voltage for you. And you will be surprised, folks, how great an amplifier sounds as you start reducing. So TJ, let's go back to bypass just for a moment, and I just want to show the folks how this amp sounds. Now right now, currently the amplifier feels great. But let's go ahead and try to reduce it a little bit and see what, what happens to the responsiveness of the amp. Because essentially, folks, what, what it does to your amplifier is it what this does is it helps save on your tubes and it helps saves on the fact that your amp is not being driven too hard to run properly, make, which actually makes your amp sound real stale. So 
we have now dropped, and what does the number tell us now, Teej? Uh, we dropped from 120, 120, 121 down to 114, 113. Oh, nice. So... <laughs> actually feel a little bit of sag in the tone and how it feels. Ooh, that really feels quite nice, man. It's, uh, the amp is not feeling sterile at all, and yet it's, uh, you know, it's still feeling very responsive. Let's go one more. Yeah, let's go, let's go a little more. All right, 4% reduction. We're down now to we're 1 at, in 12. Yes, now we're at 4% reduction. Folks, each time you click this knob, you're reducing a little bit farther. Um, so now we're at what, 4% teach? Yep. Yep. So. I must say, I actually like that. Better. It gives a little bit more boingy, springy kind of feel. Yeah, a little more breath. Yeah, a little bit more breath. And, and of course, it makes the chicken picking stuff that I play really pop out. Um, so, yeah, it's actually made the amp even a little more responsive. And there we go, down to 110. Ooh, we're at 110 now. 6% reduction. 6%. <laughs> Now, to be honest with you, if I were on a session, I would leave it at that at that spot right there. Now, what the folks need to also realize, Teej, is this reduction is based on what you have this knob set at. So you kind of have to match the voltage that's coming out of the wall in order for the reduction to actually work properly with your amplifier to where you're not overdriving your amp. And, of course, to me, that's what makes an amp more stale sounding, more, more uh, sterile in responsiveness when you're playing live. So, check it all the way. Let's go all the way. Let's go 10. Now, 10%. Now we're sitting at 108, pulling two amps out of the wall. Whoo! Wow. Let's feel it. Now, as you can hear, as I'm pushing a high note now, I'm on the bridge pickup of my guitar, which is a true single coil. I'm noticing that it's a little too airy on the high notes now. So that might be a little a little much, folks, but we're actually showing you that on a 1974 Music Man, this brown box is killer. It works great. Now, Teej, put it back up to where it would be normal. Not necessarily on bypass. Go back to the 3% reduction. To me, folks, this is where this amp feels best. <laughs> Nice clean notes, very precise, and a little tighter feeling, but not sterile. If I was in a session, I would actually drop it a little more, but for live gigs, that's just absolutely uh, awesome. Now we're going to actually move to a more modern amp. We're going to move to my Reeves Space Cowboy through an Avatar 212 cabinet. We'll be right back. 